a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. At first, the infant, mewling and puking in the nurse's arms. Then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail unwillingly to school. And then the lover, sighing like furnace, with a woeful ballad made to his mistress's eyebrow. Then a soldier, full of strange oaths and bearded like the pard, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. And then the justice, in fair round belly with good caper lined, with eyes severe and beard of formal cut, full of wise saws and modern instances, and so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon, with spectacles on nose and pouch on side, his youthful hose well saved, a world too wide for his shrunk shank, and his big manly voice turning again towards childish treble, pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all that ends this strange, eventful history is second childishness and mere oblivion. Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. and violets blue and lady smocks all silver white and cuckoo buds of yellow hue to paint the meadows with delight the cuckoo then on every tree mocks married men for thus sings he cuckoo 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 oh word of fear unpleasing to a married ear When shepherds pipe on oaten straws, and merry larks are ploughmen's clocks, when turtles tread, and rooks and daws, and maidens bleach their summer smocks, the cuckoo then on every tree mocks married men, for thus sings he, Cuckoo! 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 Oh, word of fear unpleasing to a married ear. logs into the hall, and milk comes frozen home in pail. When blood is nipped and ways be foul, then nightly sings the scaring owl. To who? To whit? To who? A merry note while greasy Joan doth keel the pot. the wind doth blow and coughing drowns the parson's saw and birds sit brooding in the snow and Marion's nose looks red and raw when roasted crabs hiss in the bowl then nightly sings the staring owl to who to it to who a merry note while greasy Joan doth keel the pot Thank you.